All right, what's up, everybody? This is the weekly hype episode number four. Sorry, I'm a little late again. I know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the highlights of AnalogHype.com over the video game news, so over the highlights and everything like last episode. So here we go. Uh, most recent article by Jesse, uh, 360 version of Street Fighter Cross Tekken paired play will not be patched. Uh, highlights list says Xbox 360 users have been accustomed to, to simultaneously logging on with two profiles you know, on the same console. So basically, what that means is say you know I have my you know Xbox Live you know username that you had your Xbox Live uh, um, you know name. And uh, we both can play together, and you have your gamer tag. I got my gamer tag. And we're both, you know, you know, leveling up or whatever. What well, I guess what they're saying is, we're, with uh, this game on 360, you'll basically be signed in as a guest. I guess you won't get an option to you to use your own gamer tag when you're playing as player two, you know, on the same system and whatnot. Uh, blah 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 blah. Street Fighter Cross Tekken has launched last night, and while the PSG version supports this feature, the Xbox 360 version does not. Which is actually pretty weird because usually Xbox Live, that's one of the main features that works across the board with uh, split screen, you know, local play type of games, and you're playing them. Usually they let you uh, use both gamer tags or you know where if it's two player four player game usually everybody can have their own gamer tag i know some games on the ps3 sometimes you don't get the option to be a guest other games you can sign in with both psn ids so it's kind of strange that the ps3 version allows you to have two sign-ins two logins but the xbox 360 version does not especially when the ps3 version has the extra characters and stuff too you think that they would have done something like that but you know they'll, they'll probably maybe eventually come out of the patch you know Capcom is so right now they may be saying that's not gonna be patched and later on they'll come out with the Street Fighter Cross Tekken remix dub edition with you know all that shit they always do that type of stuff so we'll, we'll see you know Xbox owners don't don't get too uh, discouraged uh, next article once again Jesse uh, killing it on uh, Analog hype like usual. Uh, return to the World of, War, of, World of Warcraft Tongue Twister and receive a uh, free level 80 boost and upgrade to Cataclysm. That's pretty cool. So any of you guys who have been maybe taking a break on uh, World of Warcraft and thinking about getting back in, this might may entice you to get back in. You get a free level 80 booster and upgrade to Cataclysm, which is a pretty good DLC. Uh, the uh, PSN Choice Awards, the uh, winners. For the PSN Choice Awards 2012, the winners have been announced. Uh, they did this last year where people could vote on their favorite PSN games, different categories for uh, PSN games, and then they'll they'll uh, you know they announce the winners. So th this year's the uh, winners, best PSN exclusive. The winner is um, Infamous Festival of Blood. Pretty good downloading, not not the best. Infamous Two is a lot better, but it is you know F Festival Festival of Blood is you know it's a PSN game. It's it's not bad. Uh, best uh, PS just PSN game, maybe a multi-platform PSN game. I guess you could say uh, Resident Evil 4, which you know a lot of people like Resident Evil 4. To me, it's the best Resident Evil game uh, thus far, in my opinion. Um, best uh, PS PSN game that's playable online. Uh, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike Online Edition. I got that game. It's, it's pretty good if you're a Street Fighter fan. You know, it's old school, old school uh, Street Fighter fun. Uh, best. P PS3 uh, full downloadable game, which there's a lot of downloadable games that you can get on a PS3 that are full blown. Like they got Call of Duty on there and etc. Especially when they got Infamous, you know, Little Big Planet. The one, the game that won was uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Okay. Uh, best uh, PlayStation Move game is uh, Dungeon Hunter Alliance. I never actually played th this game, but uh, must be pretty good. So if you got PlayStation Move and you're looking, you know, for a game, you know, check that check that guy out. I guess. Um, Best uh, 3D game was God of War Origins Collection. You know, God of War, Chains of Olympus, and God of War Ghost of Sparta. You know, really good uh, PSP games that you can play on your PS3 and they're in 3D. Uh, best PlayStation 1 or, you know, play PlayStation Classic game is uh, Chrono Trigger, which is originally a Super Nintendo game. They ported to the uh, PS1. There's also C C Chrono Cross, which is the sequel to that. Uh, Chrono Trigger 1. Uh, Chrono Cross isn't available yet for uh, PS3, or I'm sure that might have won. But uh, that's available for PS3 and PSP. Best uh, uh, P best um, a, a, a mini game, I should say. Sorry, <laughs> best mini game is um, of course Angry Birds. Yeah, you know the whole Angry Birds craze. That one. So yeah, uh, best PSP, not Vita, but best PSP game was uh, Dissidia 
Zero Twelve. I'm not even gonna try to say that word. I'm just gonna skip over that. Final Fantasy. So Final Fantasy Dissidia, basically for the PSP. I played the original one. Great game. Wish they would make it for the PS3. Great fighting game. It's uh, got all the different Final Fantasy characters in it. Awesome. Uh, PlayStation Community Award Best um, Indie Game. Limbo. Great indie game. That's good. I'm gonna kind of skip over some stuff. Like I said, I'm just gonna kind of highlight the, the gaming stuff. Uh, Medal of Honor Warfighter is coming this October. Cool. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3 features two to four player online co op. I actually did not know this. Awesome. So, uh, I guess on uh, Xbox.com or something, they uh, announced this. Uh, Welcome back to another edition of Live Leaks. <laughs> Well, with our host me, as in Jesse, Jesse once again, doing single analog uh, I guess there's a leak that um, Sad's Creek is going to have two to four player co op and uh, a, a player online, you know, like Brotherhood, and et cetera, et cetera, had online. So it'll be some two to four player online co op. Hope this is true. That would definitely be awesome because Sad's Creek 3 is looking pretty sweet. Uh, Mass Effect 3 full game trial for uh, PlayStation Plus, so you can play the game for an hour for, for free. If you have plus, cool. Uh, Blizzard is about to merge the alliance and the horror factions for uh, World of Warcraft. Once again, World of Warcraft fan, definitely you know check that out. Uh, kind of skip over some stuff. My 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 uh, memory might be kind of low, so I'm trying to talk fast. Two um, K check and Rockstar team up for uh, GTA uh, Five and Mafia Three. Awesome. Mafia Three is looking sick. I hope GTA Five is good as well. Trey looks awesome. Hope that's good. Uh, connect trailer on there. I'm not even gonna talk about that. <laughs> uh, Capcom addresses why they had locked content on the disc. Uh, 12 characters released this fall. Capcom really just this that shit. This shit gets some under. Like I, I could do a video about this with Capcom locking characters and shit that's on the disc and all this bullshit. Uh, read read the article. I'll put a link in the description to this article, um, so you guys can check that out. Read some more about that. Uh, you top top ten uh, UK video game sales. Let's go ahead and check that out. My boy K on here. Let's see. We got a uh, SSX number one, awesome game. Uh, FIFA 12, Mario Party 9, Uncharted Golden Abyss, uh, Mario and Sonic at the Winter, or excuse me, London 2012 Olympics, uh, UFC uh, Undisputed 3, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, FIFA Football. Uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, Revelations, and Battlefield 3 are the uh, top 10 games for uh, the week of March. First week of March, I guess, uh, which is now for uh, UK. So uh, it's cool. Awesome sauce. And that's the uh, bottom of the uh, first page uh, here for analoghype.com. So check out the website. Uh, just you know, check out. We got a lot of cool stuff. You know, anime, movies, music, a lot of other stuff. I'm just kind of highlighting all the video game stuff. But uh, check out the forum. Check out the podcast, Underground Hype. Uh, episode 18 just came out not too long ago. I'm gonna try to get on the next episode, guys. Hit me up with the times and all that stuff. I know everybody's kind of on their different time schedules, but I'm, I'm gonna try to get up on there. So if I am, definitely look out for that. Should be really cool. Analoghype.com. Check them out. This has been the weekly hype episode number four let me go and get my music on here always unprepared up on here but uh yeah analoghype.com check them out check out the forums it's nice kind of haunted beat right here it's kind of cool wish it was halloween it's making more sense but uh analoghype.com once again i'm bobby w223 signing out catch y'all on the next one peace out